Alright, this is going to be the beginning of quite a good long series of videos, um, which is about sentential logic. Um, this is probably like what you would learn in a class of logic or symbolic logic, and um, in this video I want to just kind of lay down some core concepts um, as to what one should know um, going into a logic class. And following this, I'll be doing videos about truth tables, um, testing for, th for things like logical or truth functional equivalence and cons consistency or, or validity or entailment. And I'll have videos about translating from English to, to, to SL and SL to English. And then um, also have, I'll, I'll, I will also, after all that stuff, I'll do some videos about um, derivations or proofs in uh, SL as, as well. So, turning to the board here. Um, hopefully you can see it. If not, I apologize. Um, first of all, one book I would like to recommend, one book I would like to sort of, I guess, say that is the best book for learning, for learn, for learning logic. It's called The Logic Book. I don't recall who the, who the authors are, but if you just look up on Amazon, The logic book it is available to purchase on Kindle um, as well as in print form and this book is a very good book for the purpose of learning sentential as well as quantificational logic as well as learning how to um, understand things, things like completeness as well so um, first of all the system SL um, is a system that um, is not quantificational. We don't have quantifiers in this in this system. Um, this is a system that is basically the most basic form of logic that you could possibly have. And then, um, as you get into like the quantificational logic, which was influenced by by people like Frege and Russell and Boole. Um, then we have something more complex, but and I plan on doing videos on the on the quantificational logic um, uh, kind of logic. But the first thing I want to do is a good long series of videos on the system SL. The, sy the system SL is sim is like a, it's like saying this a one wedge a two or a one or a two or something like this where each letter stands for something. Now I plan on doing videos where I talk about the connectives and how to translate from English to SL and from SL to English. Um, so, um, but here I have some good concepts which uh, once, you know, I, I plan on doing also uh, basically um, in logic we have two things which are very important. One being syntax, the other semantics. Um, syntax is about the symbols that we have, the, the connectives that we have, and the rules that we have for operating with them. Thus, w when, we, when we do a proof or a derivation in logic, which I, w which I will be covering here on this channel, um, that's this syntax. However, meaning or truth value has to do with semantics. And for different different systems of logic, semantics mean different things. For most systems of logic, syntax means derivations or proofs, um, doing different things with the rules and connectives and symbols that we have. Um, semantics for Quantificational logic is stuff like a interpretation, for, but, but for semantics in the, the system SL, we have stuff like a truth table, um, which I will have a good few videos about after I, after I do a couple different things in this system. But I just want to clear that up first, because in, the reason I'm going to introduce these things is, is because when we, or when I will do videos about truth tables, 
truth tables we, we will use to test for <coughs> validity, soundness, entailment, logically true, logically false, logically indeterminate, equivalence, and consistency. So um, that's kind of what we're going to be doing. When we are, tw when we are translating between, the, between English and SL and SL to, and, and, and SL to English, this is not near as important. This is more important. And after I do all this stuff about translation and truth tables, then then I will be doing a lot more of this in the in the derivations in SL. But SL, when when uh, when uh, we are doing de derivations or proofs in SL, it's called SD, and often sometimes called the SD plus involves uh, laws called like. De Morgan's and such, but I'm not. I'm not going to be doing that um, because that I don't really think that is worth my time to be doing here. Um, so the logic book, which is um, this, is what was the way I was taught logic was through this book. So um, what they do is that they begin the book by giving these definitions via logical like logical validity logical soundness logical truth false indeterminacy logical equivalence logical consistency and then as we go to, as as this this book goes to like truth tables and more of this system it does via the truth functional validity truth functional soundness truth functional entailment truth functional truth truth functional equivalence truth truth functional consistency so I'm not gonna really worry too much about that but I want to mention that that this is kind of important when doing that and because the, I guess the definition also changes to quantificational validity quanti quantificational soundness and so on when when one does PL predicate logic or quantificational logic so going through these these concepts are important for doing truth tables. Now, when I do the when I do the videos on truth tables, I'll, I'll definitely refer one <coughs> to this video. Um, so, what is validity? First off, validity. There are definitely definitely different definitions for it. But if all of, if a certain um, argument is valid, and an argument is such that we have premise, premise, conclusion, or we can have multiple multiple premises. Or just one premise, or what? Um, if all the if all if all the premises are true, the the conclusion must be true. Um, a, if what and if when we do truth tables, if we can have a argument which goes like this, which is true, true, and then the conclusion is false, then we know that the argument is invalid. So a argument is valid if all the purposes are true, the conclusion, the conclusion must be true. So if this was F, then this is a, val a, val a valid argument. Um, the only formulation is when was when an argument is invalid is when we have TTF, when the conclusion is false and the, and the premises are all, are all true. <coughs> so if all the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. That is the definition of a valid argument. Now, and here we are, we are talking about arguments. <coughs> and here we are talking about a set versus a proposition. This is, this is a sentence or proposition. These, are, these three are. These are sets of, sets of sentences or propositions. So logical soundness or truth functional soundness. A argument is sound if an argument, if an argument is valid and has all true premises. Now, entailment is closely related to validity. So, we, let's say we have a set gamma, and then we have this this double this double turnstile. A double turnstile a double turnstile stands for x. Now, the the single turnstile um, is when is when we are doing this syntax. Syntax or derivations and proofs. If these two, this this means that 
Um, A2 can be can be derived from A1 and stuff like that. And basically, when, when we get a problem or a proof to do, we will see a problem like that, but with bigger sentences or bigger bigger things between them. So, entailment. A set gamma entails a certain a certain set, a certain sentence X. If the if if it is not possible that the all the members of this set are true and this is false. So when doing truth tables, doing validity and entailment are the exact same process. Just we're looking at it differently between them. So if if a set gamma entails a preposition X, then it is not possible for all the members of gamma to be true while X is false. Okay, so these three, truth, false, and in, in, indeterminate, talking about a certain single sentence or statement or proposition, logically true or truth functionally true, <clears throat> means that given any, given any certain sentence, it is not possible that it be false. So um, consider the sentence, it is Tuesday or it is not Tuesday. That sentence is always true no matter what. No matter whatever happens, the sentence it is Tuesday or it is, it is not Tuesday is always true because it is either Tuesday or it is, or it is not Tuesday all the time, every day of the year, always. So the statement it is Tuesday or it is not Tuesday is logically true because it is not possible for it to be for, for it to be false. A logic false statement or a sentence is a, is a statement that could not possibly be true. So think, consider the sentence: it is Tuesday and it is it is it is not Tuesday. Is it possible for a, for a day to be Tuesday and not and and not Tuesday? No. So no matter what happens. The statement, it is Tuesday and it is not Tuesday, will always be false, therefore it is logically false. Logically ind indeterminate. And again, this can be true, tr 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 truth functionally true, truth functionally false, truth functionally, functionally indeterminate, d d depending on what you're um, doing. Um, a sentence is logically in indeterminate is if it's not, if it's, it's, is when it's not logically true and not logically false. So consider the um, consider the proposition. It is it's, it is possible that it is Tuesday. Um, or no, that, that that's a that's a bad one. Consider this. Um, Kant was a bad was a bad f philosopher. Um, that is neither is neither logically true nor logically false because there are people who think that. That Kant is a good one, and then people think people that that, that 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 think Kant was a was a bad one. So it's not either logically true nor logically false. Okay, equivalence and and consistency. But we are we are talking about multiple sentences or multiple statements or multiple propositions. Equivalence is where it is it is not possible given P and Q for P to be to be true. While Q is false, and by and vice versa. <coughs> so we, if we have a certain um, s s sentential letter A1, and then we have a certain s s sentential letter A2, if those two are logically equivalent, they always have the same truth value. To say that two, to say that, to say that two things are logically equivalent or true functionally equivalent. It is not is it is not possible for them to have different tr tr truth values. They are either both true or both false if they are logically equivalent. And I'm saying this because during the truth tables we are testing for validity and entailment, and we're testing for these and testing for these. We're testing for those via the semantics of SL via truth tables. We're testing for all this stuff. That's why I'm kind of giving a core concept kind of overview. Consistency, it is po it is possible for all you for all the all the members of that set to be, of that set to be true. Now we we are we are talking about a set of sentences, so we have. Can you see me? Can you see it? Okay. We 
you have a set of say ten ten members. Um, if no one of these c conflicts with one another, or or if no one of these c contradicts one another, then it is c consistent. Uh, thus, it is possible for all of these to be true at the same time together in a set. Um, a set of sentences is consistent um, if it's possible that they are all true, and if it is possible that they are all true, then there's no there's no contradictions or conflicts between all the members of a set. So <coughs> those are the core concepts of what one would test for given a truth table of SL. So I've been talking about I've been talking about truth tables here. So I kind of would like to show something or kind of show what a truth table is while I end here. Let's say we have this statement P horseshoe Q. And then we have P now this is our ledger. Now I'm kinda I'm now again I'm gonna give I'm gonna have videos which go into this go into truth tables in much more detail. Um true true, true, false, false, true, false, false. Now, if we have two sen two sen sentential letters, um, then we have this. When they're, when they're both true, when one is true and one is false, and then when they're, when they're both false. Now, what is the, um, there are definite truth tables for every, since, for every sentential connective. Um, now I know it, and I'm gonna do it more then. So, but let's say both of these are true, then the horseshoe is true. If this is true and this is false, then the whole thing is false. If this is false and this is true, then the whole thing is true. If this is false and this is false, then the whole thing is true. So, this is what we're concerned with when, when we do bigger truth tables and to test for things like validity and entailment and consistency. So hopefully that was um, a good overview of things and um, I'm going to get to um, things like translation and connectives and, and all that stuff soon. So if you want me to include something or if you think I've messed up something here or left something out then please tell me. I would love to discuss with you and uh, if you have a question and um, I would also love to d discuss with you, so thank you.